Okay, we're going to now go from uh, the Spitzer race to the Wiener race. Very exciting for us uh, who live and work here in New York. And uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Carlos Danger, this is the uh, the online uh, alias of uh, Elliot Spitzer, uh, or excuse me, not Elliot Spitzer, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony Wiener. Wiener. I'm the sorry. other one. The other guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, Barry Weiss, our uh, assistant <laughs> features editor, is here. It's too much fun. Okay. So we had uh, uh, Mrs. Carlos Danger. That would be uh, Huma, Huma Abedin, who is married to Anthony Weiner, a uh, disgraced former congressman now running for uh, mayor, not to be confused with our disgraced former governor who's now running for comptroller. <laughs> so uh, uh, Huma Abedin, Mrs. Carlos Danger, we had an editorial in our paper uh, this week saying basically uh, she's, she's the principal victim here of uh, Mr. Weiner's uh, escapades. Uh, you had a very popular op-ed on our site now uh, basically saying maybe not She's not quite as sympathetic a character as, uh, as, uh, as you might think. Um, but uh, I guess the question now is, is what is the future for uh, Huma Abedin? I, a story in the New York Post suggesting that she's kind of the, the engine of Mr. Weiner's fundraising. Oh, I think it's Huma for mayor, Huma for president. <laughs> I mean, I think that her, you see this entire, it's, it's quite unbelievable actually, even going back as far as 2007, there's this unbelievable, uh, profile of her in the New York Observer, mm -hmm. where you have people like James Carville, you know, the, the biggest kind of stars in the Democratic political firmament right. bowing down to this woman saying, you know, if Huma would run, we would support her all the way. You have oh. Oscar De La Renta saying <laughs> that she, he loves her, she's the most glamorous woman in, in Democratic politics. I mean, so wow. they're all, and, and, and the New York Post story kind of speaks to this, where all of these donors, they don't care about Anthony Weiner. They think Anthony Weiner's a joke. They're giving to him because of his wife. So oh. she's kind of an essential ingredient, actually, to his political comeback which is what I was getting at in that satirical op-ed. Okay, so uh, she uh, appears to be uh, perhaps the talent, the brains, the class of the operation. Exactly. But there is this question of, uh, of what she's been doing the last few years, generating an enormously high income. Now, uh, Senator Chuck Grassley has been uh, demanding some answers on, uh, I didn't know this existed, but she became a special government employee, so kind of a part-timer, middle of last year and then also began doing some consulting work uh, uh, for a company that uh, looks for political intelligence. Um, and is run by Bill Clinton's chief advisor, and I think also the man, Doug Brand is his name, who started the Clinton Global Initiative. Right. So it's, I mean, she's, she's basically working for the State Department, you know, for, for Hillary Clinton, getting all this information, and then working for a company in which she needs to give that information to investors. So it seems like a clear conflict of interest. And, and we're talking about quite a bit of money given uh, that I think the reason uh, in letters to Mr. Grassley, she said she left full-time employment with the government was because she had to be home to care for her son, which seems like a wonderful thing to do, but... Uh, and somehow she's bringing in a quarter, over a quarter of a million dollars doing that. Yeah, so uh, so this might be a question for her if she ever wants to move from the uh, spouse to the candidate. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, I think it's also a question for taxpayers, and you know, not to pick on her specifically, but uh, uh, question here on uh, on what kind of outside income people should be able to gather when they're working for the government. Definitely, but I think that if she's able to get past the sexting, and if she's able to answer these questions that Senator Grassley's raising, who knows? I think she could have a very very bright political career. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Thank you.